Okay, uh, it's a pleasure and honor for me to give you an introduction of uh, particle physics in China at this uh, conference. Uh, so uh, particle physics in China actually started from uh, uh, Beijing Electron Positron Collider in the 80s. And afterwards, we had upgrade of the machine in the year of uh, 2003, uh, 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 and then uh, the completion in the year of 2008. Uh, you can see from this curve is the luminosity of this uh, e, e plus minus collider at the energy of 3 to 5 GeV. So starting from early uh, 70s, we had uh, several uh, uh, colliders running at this energy range. And the uh, Chinese government decided at the uh, beginning of the 80s to build the world's largest electron uh, positron collider at this energy range. So it was very successful operation and then afterwards uh, op the, the, the upgrade went up and continued to lead the, uh, the luminosity frontier. So actually uh, this research uh, in, uh, in IHAP now uh, uh, actually lead us to uh, other disciplines like particle physics, astrophysics, synchrotron radiation, spallation neutron source and so on. So this is the machine uh, operational since the year of 2009, and this is the detector. And you can see that this double ring machine, uh, a so-called factory type of uh, uh, E plus minus collider. The uh, luminosity design was uh, actually the largest uh, uh, ever at this energy range, 10 to times uh, 32. Actually, we managed to reach this uh, design luminosity uh, this year. Uh, we have been taking data since uh, 2008, and we collected 1.2 billion uh, Gpsi events, 0.5 billion Psi prime, and the three inverse phantom bar of uh, Psi double primes, and so on. So we can see that in this energy range, there are a lot of resonances, and by collecting uh, many, many data in this energy range, we can study the details of physics in this, uh, in this energy range. A uh, few uh, special uh, important results from uh, uh, BPC2 and the best 3 is, uh, is the following. You can see that we observed in the year of uh, uh, 2013 uh, 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 new resonances made by a pi plus minus uh, and the gypsum. So this is a charge, charmonium states, and this is actually a very important uh, first of its kind, which could be made of uh, four type, four quarks. And so very often it's called uh, tetraquarks. And actually we observe it's, an, uh, it's a neutral uh, company and also the excited states of this, uh, of this uh, four quark states. Uh, we also observed a new kind of uh, light hadrons like uh, X1835 and also the, uh, the, uh, the higher energy ones. So you can see very clear uh, particles produced uh, from, this, uh, from this energy range. And the best three will continue to operate for another, say, eight years. And by working on this machine, we can study charmonic physics, uh, charm physics, and looking for group balls, precision measurement of FD and FD sub S, and so on. This is actually a, a large international collaboration. We have six U.S. institutions, uh, 13 from Europe, and, uh, and many from Asia. Uh, the future of uh, E plus minus collider for us is uh, actually uh, a CPC plus uh, SPPC. Uh, for about eight years, we have been talking about what we can do after BPC2. And thanks to the discovery of the low mass Higgs, uh, a circular Higgs factory actually becomes uh, feasible. So we can build uh, something like 50 to 100 kilometers of, uh, of, uh, of tunnel and then build the electron. Uh, positron collider in it, and afterwards you can build a proton collider in the same tunnel, just like LEP plus uh, LHC. The science uh, of this machine can be the following. It's a, a Higgs factory. You can study precision uh, property. You can, you can precisely study the properties of the Higgs, measuring its mass, the JPC, and the couplings, and to look for the physics beyond the standard model like any uh, uh, new type of Higgs, composite, and so on. 
Uh, you can study. This is also a machine for the Z and the W, so you can uh, have a very preci precision test of the standard model of, uh, of the particle physics. And you can take the uh, factor of 1,000 more Zs than the lab had been taken uh, in the year of, uh, of uh, uh, 2000, up to the year of 2000. It can also be a flavor factory. And afterwards, in the same tunnel, we can build a, a 100 TeV kind of uh, proton collider. And we can do direct searches of new physics. And this becomes a precision measurement and a new physics searches. So it's actually complementary to each other by having these two machines in the, in the same tunnel. So actually, a lot of people question why you need to build such a large machine. What if you see nothing? And, uh, and what you can learn from after the Higgs. So uh, actually, I think it's, always, it's, it's a belief by most of the particle physicists that the standard model is not the end of the, it's not at the end after the, after the discovery of the Higgs. So uh, we have the issues like the uh, hierarchy problem because the elementary particles had a mass difference by a factor of 10 to 13. And you have a fine-tuning problem that the Higgs mass can be can should be cancelled by each other at such a precision. And it's very unnatural. And the mass of Higgs and top quark mass are at the uh, metastable region. So you have an in in instability region and stability region. Uh, Higgs and top mass are right at this middle here. So this is actually a very, very strange. And uh, at the high energy, standard model give you that the, uh, the couplings do not uh, uh, coincide at the same point. Why a minimum, standard, minimum supersymmetric standard model give you this kind of uh, interpretation for the, for the unification of the couplings. Uh, also, uh, in the standard model, we have no uh, dark matter particles. And in the standard model, we are not able to explain uh, uh, matter-antimatter symmetry in the universe using the known CP effects. So many of these issues actually relate to the Higgs and relate to the mass uh, problems. Sorry. So uh, by having a building a Higgs factory, you can study very precisely the, the Higgs physics, which means that you can probe with the precision of 1%, you can actually probe to the mass at the level of, uh, say, 1 TV. And this is actually with, uh, is a better, is a factor of 10 better than uh, the large hydrogen collider at CERN. So this one shows you the precision at the CPC. Uh, typically, we can do a factor of 10 better than the RHC. And uh, this is to give you the relative error. You can see a factor of 10 improvement across almost all the part, all the, the parameters. And in particular, this uh, heat to Z coupling can give you actually two orders of magnitude improvement. Having this uh, precision on the Higgs Z couplings, you can actually uh, study the, the nature of the electric weak phase transition. So we all know that the uh, first order or second order phase transition is not yet known, and they have uh, profound implications to the, to the, to the cosmology. And uh, at CPC, first we can do a direct measurement of the, or indirect measurement of the Higgs self couplings with the precision of 20 to 30 percent, which you should hear. And this 20 to 30 percent can give you roughly a, a four or five uh, sigma kind of uh, 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 four to five sigma kind of uh, 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 determination of the self couplings. And also with uh, Higgs uh, Z couplings, the CPC with roughly 0.2 uh, kind of uh, precision, you can actually discriminate all the models. So this actually give you all the uh, uh, physics. You can do also the uh, electric weak uh, uh, determination of the new physics, and uh, this is CPC, and this is uh, the current understanding. A factor of uh, order of magnitude improvement is expected. You can also look for new physics at the order of the several, uh, several TVs by having this CPC machine. Uh, you can also do direct searches at 100 TeV machines, and actually for nature's uh, uh, issues, uh, LHC can give you 10 to minus 2, and the, and the new SBPC can go up to 10 to minus 4, fine tuning issues here.
So uh, we finished uh, a conceptual design report with several hundred authors from all over the world. And this is the design of the machine that you can uh, uh, build from uh, LINAC and then a booster. And then uh, you have a storage ring so that the particles can collide. Uh, this is a, a very innovative design for the machine. Instead of building, uh, say, a single ring machine or double ring machine, which had already examples in the world, we invented a new kind of machine which is called partial double rings. So by doing this, you get all the uh, advantages of, uh, say, uh, uh, less difficulties, higher luminosity, but uh, uh, with lower kind of cost. So this is the so-called double ring machine that designed the luminosity. So if you build, say, 100 kilometers, and uh, you can actually, have with a uh, partial double ring machine, you get the luminosity, which is the same as the full double ring machine as, uh, as a design by CERN. So we have the same luminosity if we go to the same uh, circumference. So of course, there are many uh, technical challenges. I'm not going through the details, but I think the uh, R&D uh, effort has been uh, started, and we believe that in the next five years, we should be able to resolve uh, all the technical uh, uh, issues. Uh, a few uh, main uh, candidates uh, of the site, either in uh, Qinghuangdao in Beijing, nearby Beijing, or in, uh, in, uh, in, 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 uh, in Xi'an, or in, uh, in Guangdong. Uh, this is the design of the civil construction, and uh, the cost is roughly a quarter for the civil construction, and the rest is for the machine. A uh, rough timeline the following, we, uh, we hope that we can start the construction in the middle of uh, next uh, century, say the uh, next uh, uh, decade, say uh, 2022 to 2028, uh, and then the SPPC will start in, uh, in the year of 2030-something, or even 2040. The current status of the funding is the following, so uh, we finished the pre-CDR, we are working on the, on the uh, conceptual design report, and uh, we are asking actually funding from the, from our government. We got some funding from the Institute of High Energy Physics. We got approved by the Ministry of Science Technology for 35 million uh, RMB, uh, and also another 40 million will be asked the next year. We hope, we believe, we should be able to get it. And then uh, we failed to get the uh, funding from National uh, Commission for Development and Reform uh, uh, this year, and, uh, and this is the, during the voting process. Uh, we didn't get enough vote. But we believe we should be able to get some other fundings from CAS and the National uh, Science Foundation uh, uh, this year or next year. Uh, we are working on the international collaboration. Uh, uh, we believe we need a new kind of format for the international collaboration. So it's not ITER, CERN, or IRC, and something which we have to invent. Uh, we established an international advisory board. Uh, you can see many of them actually sitting in this room. And uh, we already signed many MOUs and uh, also have uh, uh, official meetings with, uh, uh, with funding agencies in many countries in the world. And we signed an agreement, and we are going to work together uh, uh, to the, towards the design of this machine. And also we need international coordination for this, uh, for this effort. Okay, so uh, major effort uh, uh, for this, uh, for the high energy physics uh, in China actually is summarized in this table. So we have uh, actually based the particle physics program, uh, the best three, and the future is the CPC. Uh, we have uh, a, a working also projects working at CERN. We have underground experiments like Dia Bay, Jinping Underground Laboratory experiments. On surface, we have a cosmic ray experiments. In the future, we have VASO. And in space, we are members of uh, AMS, and also a few uh, uh, satellites now in space. And in the future, we have a few uh, projects and the planning. So this is a, a new experiment we are going to build uh, in, uh, in, in Sichuan. Uh, sorry, this is a little bit wrong. So it's somewhere here. Uh, <laughs> uh, in Sichuan uh, uh, province, uh, with an uh, altitude of uh, 4,300 uh, meters uh, uh, above the sea level. 
And this is the design, and the construction has been approved by the Chinese government. And you can see that this is sensitivity of lasso for the gamma uh, 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 astronomy, and this is a CTA. So you can see that at high energy, we are actually the best in the world. and the low energy, we are able to compete actually with some of the existing and also future projects. So uh, the, the construction will be finished, I think, in the next, uh, by, the, by, the, by uh, uh, probably 2020. In space, we have many projects, like we are a member of AMS, we are going to launch two satellites this year. One is called the Polar for the gamma ray polarization, and another one for the X-ray astronomy. Uh, actually, we are planning for a new uh, 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 experiment in the Chinese space station to be launched in the year of 2023. Uh, you can see from this table the existing uh, satellite or space station experiment and uh, the, uh, the parameters. Third is what we are, proposed, we are proposing right now, and you can see that the, uh, the acceptance particularly is almost back to 10 higher than the existing, uh, existing uh, uh, experiments. So actually this is the, the so-called the next generation uh, uh, experiment in space station is going to supersede all the other experiments currently and the planning are already in space. So the collaboration, the international collaboration has already built uh, uh, by uh, uh, groups from China, Italy, Switzerland, Sweden and so on. The acceptance at the high energy will be uh, the highest uh, Uh, in uh, Jinping, we have a uh, world's uh, deepest underground laboratory with overburden of roughly 2,400 meters. Currently, there are two experiments. One is xenon-based Panda X uh, experiment. Another one is the uh, germanium-based uh, CDEX experiment. Uh, both are looking for the dark matters. Uh, for the future, the uh, infrastructure construction has been approved and the next generation uh, Xeno or Germanic based uh, uh, experiment is uh, still in the planning, either for the dark matter searches or the double beta decay uh, experiment. This is the very recent Panda X uh, result. You can see that they got uh, almost the, the, the best uh, results in the world. And there are people also talking about future uh, uh, experiments there. Uh, for another uh, class of uh, underground experiment, uh, the Diabet uh, neutrino experiment, uh, you can see this is the uh, planning of the uh, the the, uh, the the plan of the uh, of the experiment with the near detectors and the far detectors, and this is the picture. Uh, the idea was proposed in the year of 2003, and the results was obtained in the year of 2012. This is a, a large international collaboration with uh, 16 institutions from the uh, US and, uh, and the many from Asia and the two from, uh, from Europe. Uh, actually, we are now building a new experiment called Juno. Uh, it's uh, actually, again, uh, the uh, React Neutrino experiment, which looks at the two reactor uh, uh, neutrinos from uh, Taishan and Yangjiang with uh, a baseline of roughly uh, 50 kilometers. So this 50 kilometers of uh, baseline is uh, put you a detector right at the oscillation maximum of C12. So by having a detector right at this oscillation maximum, you can study the, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, neutrino mass hierarchy. So we plan to build the world's largest liquid scintillated detector with a diameter of roughly uh, 35 meters. So this 35 meters of uh, acrylic tank is going to house uh, 20 kilotons of liquid scintillator. So this is, uh, I don't know, 15 something of uh, meters of diameter. So 35 is factor three larger than this hall, uh, made of uh, 10 centimeters of acrylic. So this is actually technologically uh, a very uh, 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 difficult and, uh, and, uh, and a big challenge for us. So the physics with, physics with such an uh, experiment is follow. You can do the mass hierarchy, uh, determine the mass hierarchy in the six years uh, at the level of four to five sigma. And you can do a precision measurement or mixing parameters. You can see that with Juno, you can improve almost by a factor of 10 and get, say, sub-percent level of uh, precision. 
And then you can also do many other things like supernova neutrinos, gel neutrinos, and the star neutrinos. So the uh, current schedule is following. We already started the civil construction uh, uh, this year, last year. So the civil will be completed uh, by uh, uh, end of next year. And then we start the uh, detector installation. And by year of 2020, we can start the, the data taking. So this is our preparation, and this is eternal digging that is still ongoing. Uh, this is again a very large international collaboration. We have uh, 27 institutions from uh, Europe, and many from Asia, and uh, from uh, uh, America, and so on. Uh, we have now already more than 400 collaborators in this, uh, in this experiment. So actually, Juno has a long uh, a, has a long future, uh, we are able to insert a balloon into the Juno detector and fill the balloon with a, a xenon-loaded liquid scintillator. So by doing this, we can build the world's largest uh, detector for double beta decays. So you can see the sensitivity as a function of the fiducial diameter, and our detector diameter is 35 meters. So we can easily put, say, eight, di eight meters diameter or even 18 meters diameter balloon into, it, into the detector and having, say, a fiducial mass of 50 tons. By having 50 tons of fiducial volume, you can see the Juno double meter decay experiment can get the world's uh, most sensitive uh, determination of, uh, of the neutrino uh, 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 effective mass of double beta decays to the 5 to 15. Uh, Million EV, uh, much better than uh, these are all the uh, 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 experiment and the plan. I mean, the, all the existing one is at the level of several hundred uh, uh, kilograms, and the future one is few tons. And we are now moving uh, towards uh, 50 uh, kilotons for the planning. So these are the, uh, the planning of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the of the of the June experiment. And uh, in summary, I uh, uh, again uh, put this uh, table, and uh, and uh, you can read it by yourself. So thank you. Uh, we haven't finally decided this. Uh, we still have to negotiate with the, uh, with the uh, local government. And uh, I believe we have to uh, wait until the uh, government uh, uh, approval officially of this project, then select officially the site. So at this moment, it's just probing the uh, offers by the local government and see which one is the most suitable for this project. Any other questions? If not, uh, let's hang the speaker here.